Hi, this is David. This Mainstays Kitchen Scale uh, I've had for about three years and it's worked very, very well for me. But lately it isn't responding all the time when I hit the buttons. Power on doesn't always come on right away. And especially this button over here on the left. This goes between uh, pounds, ounces, and grams and kilograms. And this one I need to use because I need to go to grams all the time, which I like the metric system, and it doesn't get there. So I'm going to take this apart in this video. Um, see what's going on in there and get it going hopefully. Thanks for watching. First thing we're going to do is uh, take the batteries out. And then on this one there are a couple of small screws. It's going to vary from scale to scale but I'll just go through the quickly go through the procedure on this one. There's a couple screws here, a screw there, over on the other side another Phillips screw. And that isn't going to be enough. Now we have to go under here and take out a bolt. Okay, now we're just going to take off this little plastic cover, self-adhesive. Underneath there, there's a couple of uh, Phillips head screws. So now we can lift this apart, up and apart here. And there's the Okay, so there's three more Phillips heads here. Like I said, this is kitchen use. And I believe what we may be dealing with here is it just got dirty. It's all sticky underneath here. And you can also see it on the button pad here. So I'm going over this now. I happen to have some uh, methanol here. I can use a solvent, maybe like rubbing alcohol. And these, sti these buttons are all sticky. Clean this up here. And we're also going to, of course, clean up the the button pad itself. And this is just a case of a good cleaning inside. Instead of throwing this out, we'll put it back to use. Get ready to reassemble. This was a good opportunity to clean the grime up because this one it builds up underneath here, and it's really impossible to get under there, as well as underneath the uh, the glass the glass uh, base. So with that all done, let's put our switches back in. Put our actuators back in, and then there were three screws. Okay, now watching the routing of those wires a little bit. This actually seats underneath in the front there like that. I'm going to watch these little tabs right here. Those are back in. Okay, let's mount these two case screws. Okay, I thought maybe this was an alignment hole here, but it isn't. So as you can see in here, they're straight up. So this doesn't really have any orientation. Simply line up the screws and get them started. Make sure these two screws are tight enough. You don't want them working loose. They're mounting the load cell to that weighing platform. And don't apply any twisting motion to the load cell. Then there was this little cover here. And the batteries. And the battery cover. on. See if it works any better now. Oh yeah. Okay, let's use this scale. I've got a little piece of plexiglass on here because I'm not using it for food today. And so we're going to make uh, some fuel oil mixture for a chainsaw. 
and we need, let's switch it over to grams, and we need about 240 grams of gas. It's about a cup. Pretty much exactly a cup, actually. I checked this out, believe me. Okay, we're getting close. We just need a few more drops. 237. That's good, 240. Now we're going to zero it out. 40 to 1 means 6 grams of oil. Five, six, there we are. Okay, the scale's working fine. Thanks for watching.